might be because you came from another area. Welcome everybody to another TGIB broadcast. Today we are broadcasting from Second Life from the Spawn 3D um, Expo where a panel is being held about the Spot on 3D patent. I don't know why my voice is echoing. I hope that turns out right in the recording. Anyway, I'm currently here. You can spot me by the big orange sign. Next to me is my lovely partner. Um, without a big orange sign. And um, people are assembling for the panel. And all the important people are already here, so it seems. Uh, there's just some kind of an issue with voice that I hope they can get out, that get sorted out soon. In the meantime, let's have some music. This is Trust No One, Betrayal. Hello. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I got you, Steven. Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. There he is, guys. Um, could you um, touch the seat again, Steven? It's it. doing like we have all the other sessions where you type in your questions um, and well Stephen you gotta Stephen you right clicked on the chair again huh? you need to left touch the chair and then just touch it again left touch. you do our chairs a little bit different seeking just left touch on the chair then left uh, pick your gender and then left touch again you can stand up, uh, Stephen, if you prefer. There you go. Good job. Okay, while we are waiting for this to start, let me okay, see. Okay, everyone. I am glad to see there's a turnout, and I'm going to assume most of you all from Open Sim, because this is probably something that's of particular interest to you all. The topic today is um, patents. <coughs> And in particular, probably the plug-in and IP rights. Something um, Spot On 3D has made um, a real focus on IP rights and content protection. Okay, Stephen, uh, the floor is yours now. Stephen, just remember, if anyone asks a question, you have to uh, ask it out loud, or I can do that for you if you'd like. Well, if I notice it, I'll ask it. If I don't, I won't. Um, you have to say it out loud so that Geo can I got it. it when he films. Okay. I got it. If I notice it. I promise. Okay. okay. I'm muting. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to talk about any aspect across the board. Um, uh, but I, I, what? What test? Okay, what's wrong with it? He doesn't have better? a speaker. He, he speaks, um, no. He doesn't have a headset. Don't ask me. I have a headset on. Oh, good. Okay. Is that better? I lowered the volume and raised it on my machine. That does sound better to me. Okay, hold on. Let me, um, I am Gio. I guess I'm pretty technically disenabled. Yes. 
suggestions on what would fix it, or I could take the headset off and just talk directly to the uh, Mac uh, microphone. Okay, we're, we're ready. We're ready, Stephen. Anytime you oh. want, we're ready. Okay, well, I see someone typing. I'm not sure what people really want to talk about. I mean, it's, you can just start asking questions, that's fine. I, you know, that's a good place to start. I'm sure it'll branch into discussions of different sorts, and nothing wrong with that. Um, how about that? Except I have no idea how to turn up the input button. Someone said they had a question. I mean, is the voice good enough that we can continue, or should I continue to try and fix it? Well, you're you're a little um, growly, so he's asking you to adjust so you're not so growly. You like I know how. Okay. Can you move your mic a little bit up so it's away from your mouth? That would kind of help. It can't go any further away. It's straight out. Move it up towards your forehead. How's that? That's better. Okay, go ahead. Um, it, who would like to ask the first question, please? Uh, I guess that would be Steophonics. He was at our um, our open call out, our reach out uh, in Spot on 3D. Thanks. It's great to see you again, Steophonics. Okay, I would like to start with a question, if you can hear me. I'm Vanish of TGIB. I'm glad you're talking instead of typing. <laughs> um, the question, uh, the, the first question I have, are we going to hear what the patent covers, or is that still a no? Um, complicated. It's a complicated question, and I'm going to give you a somewhat complicated answer. Um, and, and, and bear with me, because I honestly don't fully understand all of the technology. Um, there are a lot of ways to do what we're doing, um, is my understanding, um, using child windows. No fan around. Um, should I continue or can you hear me? Yes, we can hear. You. I was just I saying, Stephen, fine. if you can mute in between your responses because you have a lot of uh, sound in the background. I'll do the best I can. Thanks. Okay. okay. Um, at this point, there are a number of other patents that are out there that are very, very similar, one of which has already issued. Um, I've reached out to the entity that owns that particular patent, um, and uh, we're starting to talk. Um, I don't know what they're going to do in the end, um, and I don't know um, where negotiations with them is going to go, to be perfectly honest. Um, the technology itself, I don't think we're getting a patent on the, very, on the concept of using a child window. Um, I think we're getting a patent on something substantially narrower. Um, if we get a patent at all, I don't know. 
Um, we're obviously years away from that. Um, when you apply for a patent, you apply based upon something called claims. And those claims are based upon lots of little details based in the technology. Um, when we filed our patent, um, the one we're discussing, and actually almost all patents when it comes to software, um, we put in flow charts. Um, and then the claims reflect those flow charts to a great degree. Um, it would be a disadvantage to spot on 3D to release the details of the patent um, at this point, both for the negotiations um, and for some other reasons at this point, I really don't want to say. Um, eventually, we will put out what the patent is um, and the details, or even eventually, it will eventually even be published. Whether we put it out there prior to publication or not, I honestly don't know at this point. Um, it depends upon a lot of factors. That sounds really bad. Hmm. Um, let me try something. Hold on. Is, that, is, is this any better? Oh, there you go. I guess the question is, have you applied to patent the yeah. concept right. of yeah, signing in, or your specific way of doing so, or for both. Hold on, he's trying to adjust the sound so guys for y'all. It's, it's just there's Sorry. a lot of sh I, uh, background. If I could scenes. make it better, I would. That's okay, go ahead. Could you say the question again, please? Um, the, the question was, how broad the patent application really is. If it was um, an application to patent the concept of signing into a virtual world through a website, or if it was for your specific way of doing so, or maybe for both or anything in between. Did you hear that, Stephen, or do you need him to repeat it? with your sound. I can say it again. Yes, please. <laughs> um, Sorry. One more time? Yes, please. Okay. One more time. Thank you. All right. Well, I don't know if it's better or not. I, I'm not really sure yes, what to do yes. about it, to be perfectly yeah. honest. Well, I guess as long as we can understand you, it's fine. Um, I don't know if that really answered your question. So I guess the, the short answer to what you asked is not at this time. Um, I'm hoping at some point that we can put it out, but not yet. My other question was, if you apply, how, how broad the patent application is, if it covers or it, it touches on the concept of logging into a virtual world through a website, or if it covers your specific way of doing that, or anything in between, or maybe both. speechless no he's got <laughs> obviously audio problems oh why did I how did I start so I let me call him in Skype and see what's going on Okay, in his effort to try to fix the voice. Oh, that worked voice. really well. 
Okay. Um, down, you know, the, the only thing that I'm thinking about from the other point of view technologically is we're trying to not only commercialize this technology, we're trying to get it out there in a much broader sense than it is right now. If we're successful, and I'm hoping we are, then it's not just going to help us. It's going to help the entire community because this is a standard that will be available for everybody to use, and it will make the more the wider, the more general community um, aware of this technology and what it can do. Currently, it's a very small number, and I think that's a great disadvantage. You're breaking um, up really everybody. bad, Stephen. Um, what other thoughts or questions does anybody have? You're breaking up really bad, Stephen. That was almost unintelligible. Stephen, did you hear me? I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe he should type his answers and I'll respond for him. Let me tell him that because we're just having a really hard time. Can you type your answers? And I will read them out loud. Okay, um, I, I will answer for him. He will respond in text, and I, I will I will read it for you all. Uh, I'm told that nobody was able to hear anything I said. Is that true? Yeah. We heard I have no was idea. Very broken. It was very broken. Can you repeat the answer to um, Danish's question? Which was how broad is the patent? Um, I, I guess I could sort of just keep talking if nobody has any thoughts uh, or, or comments. Um, a, a lot of what I saw that was said on the blogs was oh God. against Stephen, software patents in general. At all, Stephen? Uh, I can't hear anything. No, I can't hear you guys. Well, now you sound fine. So would everyone please type your questions? Right. I think it's better anyway. And I'll write them. I've turned everything up. Stefan X says, I'm currently working on a Facebook interface with a viewer in a browser app, along with... Uh, uh, working on Facebook interface and viewer and browser app, along with several other people in Ireland. We've built Belfast using OpenSim. Well, that's awesome. And the work of many others for no other reason than civic pride and desire to restore history and culture. You're saying you're going to try and charge the people of Ireland to access via a licensing fee even though we have seen none of your code. Well, here's how software patents work. Um, software patents give people a uh, monopoly over something. Um, at this point, I don't have the ability to charge anybody for anything whatsoever. And I won't until um, everyone knows exactly what it is that we have the ability to um, to charge people for. So, for the moment, you certainly don't have any issues whatsoever. We don't have an issued patent. We can't stop anybody from doing anything without an issued patent. Um, we're I mean, probably three, four years away from even getting our first office action, let alone getting an issued patent. Um, 
you know, I know that we filed, we filed at this point in the U.S. Um, we will probably file something called the PCT, which is called the Patent Cooperation Treaty, in order to preserve our rights um, in Europe. Um, and we'll probably file um, under the European Union. Um, where that goes and where this goes, I think we're going to find out long before um, even the patent publishes. So um, it's not really relevant. Um, if you want to work with us, we're happy to work with you. Um, if you want to uh, uh, do your own thing, then do your own thing. What, you know, that's really all there is to it. You said at an earlier opportunity that Spot-On has already filed for four patents. Uh, and Tessa said that Spot-On has always been transparent of uh, Well, there really everything. isn't an answer. I mean, are we going to charge you? We can't charge you for anything until the patent issues. We don't know if you're using the same technology. You haven't seen our technology. We haven't That's seen right. yours. We're a long, long ways um, from from that. I am reading. Oh, the last one you said you didn't really answer my question. And I honestly think I did. I there, there is no good, good answer. I can't charge anybody for anything at this point. Um, if people want to work with us, if we, when we figure out what sort of licensing fees we put out there, and they want to license whatever we have, they're, they're welcome to. If they don't want to and they want to put out their own technology, um, then they can too. Uh, well, I don't know what the exact number of years are for when the technology comes out. Assuming we get a patent approved, that patent is not going to be specifically on the idea of using child windows. It's going to be more detailed than that. Um, yes, or whenever it is approved. Um, let's see. Uh, you said in an earlier opportunity that Spana has already filed for four other patents. Um, as Tessa said, Spana has always been transparent about what kind of thing can we know what these previous patent applications were for? Sure. Um, uh, off the top of my head, and I don't have anything in front of me, um, we filed a patent um, on a certain elements of double Dutch delivery. Um, we filed a patent on augmented reality, actually two, um, and uses within the 3D environment. Um, there's one we're working on now that I'm not going to mention um, because it's not yet filed. Um, and actually, there's one other that, that just got filed that I'm not going to mention either because we haven't rolled it out yet and I may need to do some modifications to it. Key user accounts linked to multiple avatars. It's, the question is that part of one of the patents? Um, it's certainly talked about, but it's uh, not the focus. Uh, our website just says patent pending worldwide. It doesn't say specifically anything about what's uh, pending and what isn't pending. Um, Listen, you know, everyone's asking all these details about the, the patents that have been filed and are not yet published. Um, at this point, it's one not really relevant um, because none of them have A, published or 
um, uh, be issued. Um, we're not here to stomp on on, on anyone. We're, we're, we're here to try and move the technology forward. Um, and, you know, the idea behind software patents is that it's important to reward people to put money into and research and develop. Um, okay, so the patent will take longer. Um, this is from STIO. I'm sorry, F-A-I-N-X route. Okay, so the patent will take longer than for other similar tech to evolve, or you think you can then jump on these other innovators and try to charge them? Um, no, I, these other innovators should be putting out their material as well. Um, I'm all for people innovating, and I think that's asked in the wrong direction. Um, we're filing patents on the technology that we're innovating, it has nothing to do with other people, what other people are in it. Um, oh, my screen went there. Absolutely, I'm willing to commit not to use patents in an anti competitive manner. I'm not going to let uh, the community stomp all over us. I'm putting a, a substantial amount of funds into building technology. Um, but, um, and, and if somebody says they're going to come out and they're going to try to use technology that we do obtain patents on years from now, um, then I guess at that point we would make a decision whether we um, what, what happens? But in, in all honesty, um, we're trying to bring large, a much larger community into this technology. It's relatively unknown at this point. And the only way to do this is to bring it up to the standards of uh, the, the wider community. And it's just not there yet. Um, Marie says, spot on patent pending registration and verification systems. Yes, we do have a patent on that, on parts of that system. Obviously not on all of it, it's large chunks of it are things that people have seen in the past. We can't patent what's already been out there. Uh, you, you probably know that we've tried to put things... Uh, oh, sorry, the question first. What makes you sure you'll indeed bring a large audience to this technology, and how large will that audience be? Um, uh, obviously, we're going after Facebook. We're, we're, we're trying to go after um, as large an audience as we possibly can. Um, we're not sure that we're going to bring a large audience. Uh, if we don't, then I've thrown a lot of money away. Um, I, I'm hoping, you know, I love this technology. I love the 3D environment, um, even though my microphone half the time doesn't work. Um, I, I, I think it's a wonderful thing, and I think a lot of people are uncomfortable with it because it's hard to use. It's not um, easy. Um, I tried to show my dad, who's... Uh, in his 70s, uh, second life, um, he really just couldn't handle it. It's sort of too clunky for him. Um, we're trying to make things easier. And if one can do that, then I think there can be much wider acceptance. And when I say wider acceptance, I'm talking all of Facebook. Uh, you know, that's what, 400 million or something like that? I don't know exactly. That's a wide guess. But that's a lot of people, and if we can get that many people in, maybe we can get large chunks of the rest of the world. There's wonderful uses for the technology. And if people actually know about it, then they might use it. But if it's too hard, it's not going to happen.
Um, Tessa says, uh, if it isn't us protecting it and not you, then that leaves it wide open for someone else who isn't part of the community, who doesn't care about the people involved on a community level. Um, you know, Tess is correct. Um, I'm not here to make large chunks of cash. Um, I'm already comfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm here to try to bring this technology forward. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, let's see, you said, uh, what I'm trying to get is, as Spot on had gained many users yet, why overnight this is supposed to change? Um, we're not going after um, the Second Life community. They're not our prime focus. Um, I don't know if it's overnight in any way, but um, we've had a lot of fun building the technology. Um, I, I'm a strong believer in build it and they will come. Um, that, you're right, that hasn't happened yet. Um, but I think there are more most stable groups out there. We've fixed large chunks of uh, uh, code and built some things that no one else has built yet. Um, it may not be overnight, but I think eventually we'll get there. And we're not focusing on the Second Life community. Um, we're, and the people who actually know about this technology, we're trying to focus on the people who don't know about this technology. Um, Tessa says, or the open sim. Um, you said something up above. Uh, it's a 750 million plus audience. We're not uh, ever really marked our platform because it simply wasn't ready. Marketed, marketed, sorry. As far as I know, Linen Lab hasn't really taken a shot at any of this stuff. Um, uh, you know, if Linen Lab had been going after all the wonderful things that you can do with this technology, we would never have started. We would have sat back and just enjoyed it. Um, but we haven't seen it. Um, Marie says, uh, in light of the controversy, will you be making any policy changes such as not charging some groups to use the viewer or pledging not to sue other open sim startups offering similar technology? Um, the answer on uh, licensing fees, if, if and when that happens, is I don't know. We, we, we've tried to have, find time to talk about it, and we haven't. Um, I, I'm sure we'll figure something out eventually. Um, Pledging not to sue. I mean, I could pledge whatever I want. It's it's not binding. Um, uh, I'm not here to sue anybody. Um, I'm here to try and work with everybody. Um, I don't get anything out of filing a lawsuit against anybody whatsoever. Um, Tessa says, and do you mean the plugin, uh, Maria? Maria says yes. Um, you know, uh, Marie, I can't see the future. Um, I have no intention of filing suit against anyone at this point. I have no reason to whatsoever. Um, you notice that people can still use the technology and not even go onto our grid. I'm not sure if we're going to let that continue or not. Um, but, um, they may have already closed it, or they may have closed pieces of it. I haven't, I haven't looked, to be perfectly honest. Um, Tessa says there's a big difference between uh, client and plugin. And she says on Facebook, testing it is. Closed off. You know, you're, you're, you're focusing on all the possible bad things, and you're not focusing on all the possible good things. You know, there's a good thing that we're investing in this technology and trying to bring it out to many more people. If more people are aware of it, then um, more people that will, will, will try to use it in many different ways. And there being lots of grids out there, um, they can take advantage of that. 
Um, I don't agree with it, how all the other open sin uh, groups are doing things, but I haven't stomped on them or said anything whatsoever. Um, it, it's very much a live and let live. And let live. Um, I have to admit, I haven't appreciated being fired at to such a degree by a community that I thought I was a part of. Um, and I think many of the people who did that should be ashamed of themselves, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, we've brought a new piece of technology, and we're going to continue to bring new technology um, into this 3D type environment. And it's going to help everybody. And in all honesty, um, we should be thankful that we're, we're trying to do this. Um, Little One Aries says, Do you think people are concerned because they believe you're trying to patent their work where in reality you're just protecting um, Esso's own work. I'm not trying to pretend anyone's work. Um, I, I, I can't read people's minds. Um, they all seem to think that under every circumstances, the patent that we filed and the plugin should be open source, um, and that it's been out there for years. Um, if it's been out there for years, why hasn't anyone been using it? Why hasn't it been out there for all this time? I, I, so from that point of view, I definitely disagree. Um, there are definitely pieces of it that have been out there. I don't think anyone's done it in an hour away. Um, I, you know, if someone else came out with stuff before us, then, then that's fine. Uh, Vanish says that's not quite, quite correct. Many people just don't want you to patent it. Well, um, the patent office will decide whether it's patentable or not, not the community. Um, if you don't want us to patent it because you want to use it for yourself, that's not the way the world works. Um, software patents are here, at least for the moment. Um, maybe they will go away like parts of Europe. Well, we're working on stuff that is for OpenSIM, that is going to be given out um, freely. Um, and I think we've given quite a bit back already. The, uh, Vanish says that's kind of the way OpenSIM works, though. Um, it's licensed out, not given out. Um, Marie says, like what? Marie, uh, I'll put it out there when it's ready. Um, L. Uh, Firecaster says, the community, perhaps, that you thought you were part of. I don't understand what you're trying to say. And Marie says, sorry, what have you given out already? Um, Tessa says, we've extended our marketplace uh, to other grids. No response from anyone. The marketplace is still spot on 3D controlled. It says vanish. Uh, as I said for over a year, it's not free in any way. Well, um, you may not have seen it, but a lot of our um, um, programmers have actually put, some, put stuff out there um, with permission coding. You know what? I'm not going to go back and forth on this. Um, we're going to keep moving forward and try to uh, create a company and do it in a way that we think is both respectful for the community and to the wider audience that we're trying to go after. Um, Tessa says we can't submit code for due to the licensed entrances, as you all know. Um, you know what? It's, we're just going to sort of keep going. And I think that um, the community is going to be helped by it. And, you know, if you don't believe it, that's, that's your privilege.
Does anyone have any questions on a different subject? What was this session about, by the way? I just had to come here and take a look. Tessa says, our contribution is to try and bring as many eyes to this technology and to such time as the foundation of uh, formal structure and a contributor agreement, I can't read it, is designed. Oh, that would be great. The only question I have is... <laughs> Vanish now, says, I what's the know. world's fastest fish? Um, I don't know, Vanish, what's the world's fastest fish? Not a clue. Flying tin of my answer. Is there a fish scientist up there? I guess one can always Google it. But I didn't want to search on those one Eh. of patent discussion, and I'm happy to talk about patents in general. Um, I, I think I've talked as much as I'm willing to talk about our particular patents. Um, there's nothing really more to say. I feel like we've repeated what we've said a number of different times, and, you know, maybe some people in the community don't like what we said, um, but we're going to keep driving forward. Um, there are no real alternatives. We're going to move forth. Um, Jesse says, I think that's all that's left to do is make the license problem go is the contributor agreement. I don't, I'm not sure what that, where, where we're going with that. But. Everybody knows OpenSim is um, creating um, um, a, a foundation to try to make the licensing problem go away. You know, I believe in patents. I believe very strongly in patents. Um, I, I think they're what drives this, not 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 this this community, but the entire world community forward. They're important because they give people a reason to invest in technology um, from a commercial point of view. Um, you may think that you know. 20 years is a long period of time, but it's not. It's a relatively short period of time. And a lot can, although yes, a lot can happen internet and software-wise from that point of view, um, by, letting, by, by letting people have a monopoly over technology for a short period of time, and then giving it out to the community across the board, um, moves the entire world forward. Um, let's see. Vanish said, I guess the point is, hold up, that your business is based on code by hundreds of developers you got for free. So while you're not legally bound to give anything to that back, it would be nice to see some token appreciation. Vanish, you, you, you didn't hear anything I said. There's been lots of tokens appreciation. And I have a feeling you'll see lots more. Uh, Tessa says, our patents um, are the sole foundation to gain investments that we need to expand. Um, we could not contribute to poor due to the license differences. Um, well, no, the patents are the basis that we're going to get investment. And without investment, our money, um, you know, it's the lifeblood of the company. It's just not possible for companies to expand without money. Um, that's sort of just based on reality. Let's see. Um, seeking Serenity. I like the name. Um, will we see implementation of these new technologies on a patent pending basis? Some of them, and some of them we're not trying to file patents on. Um, some of them are just going to be out there in the public domain. Um, Tessa says the patents are all we have is tangible value. And she's right. I mean, we have no claim to uh, to any of the open SIM code whatsoever. Um, you know, all we do have really is, uh, excuse me, are the patents. And 
you know, without it, we're not really going to get investments. Um, I don't know exactly what we're going to do in the future. Um, I will keep on trying to come up with stuff. Um, Uh, Vanish said, are any of these tokens free for the community to do with as they please at one point? Like, could I install double Dutch delivery on my own web server? You don't need to give me the source, dot, dot, dot. Um, probably not double Dutch delivery itself. Um, although, I don't know, maybe, maybe we would. I've never even sat down and really thought about it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think the tokens are going to take more time. I think everyone here is thinking very short term, not, not long term. Um, let's see, do you, do you understand if you continue to go forward with, with this the way it is now, you'll never be accepted by the open sim community, always be looked at as having done what you got in an unethical manner? Uh, you know, uh, Al, I, I, I really resent that. Um, I, I believe in open source, and I don't think we've done anything unethical at all. I, try very, very hard to do things in an ethical fashion. Um, you're saying that I, I take offense to it, to be perfectly honest. Um, it, you, um, I think in the end, the open sim community will accept us um, because we'll bring back a lot more than, uh, than, 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 than we've taken. And, and Tessa's point is correct. She says, you know, it takes a lot of money to make, I don't know what the word is, but it t does take a lot of money to build things. Um, and without um, without money, it's just, you know, it's going to continue as, as a technology that's just not accepted by the, by, by the general community, the general internet community. And Tess is correct also. We've been framed and vilified by much of the open sim community, which I also think wasn't wasn't fair and, and to a great degree I would say. Marie asked, by bringing back a lot more than we've taken, are you referring to more users again? It's part of it, but I think you'll see more than that in the future. And no, I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking about. Um, Al, I'm not going to respond to you again, and I'm not going to read your questions out loud if you're going to continue on that thing. I, I think you should be a bit more respectful. have any comments that are constructive? Okay. Um, oh, thanks say. for coming. Nice talking to you. And um, I guess I will see you guys around. Well, I was going to say, never mind, I'll wait for the moment, oh. And that concludes today's um, expo, and thank you all for showing up. Um, I think it's pretty cool that there are things we probably will never um, uh, agree on with OpenSim. And you know what? That's okay. Because we can agree to disagree and still collaborate in separate ways. We will end up in the same place, I think, in the end. And that hopefully is a strong community in different ways. Uh, with different flavors. And I think that's important. You know, uh, we were all on the same boat. We'd all be on the same page. 
and we would all be exactly the same. I think we should embrace diversity, not be the deaf, and vilify. Um, and I'm sorry if you disagree with um, our platform or our needs to have patents so we can get investment funding. Maria, this wasn't a press conference. It was a discussion group invited for everyone to come to discuss their problems. Um, please don't misrepresent this event. It was, again, a discussion group so that people could come talk and present their arguments and their problems with the patents and discover why, you know, from our perspective, we're not trying to threaten anyone. Now, you can believe or not believe. It's your choice. I can't change your minds, but please, let's be factual. This was not, again, a press release. If we'd done a press release, it would have been announced in a written form and, and issued out through the normal national press like we did. the first communication was actually somebody asking a question. Um, I think that makes it qualified as a discussion. Thank you. Okay, night-night, everybody. Thank you, Phil, as usual. Just awesome. Awesome job. Thank you for being such a trooper. Um, if anyone has any questions they don't feel comfortable asking in this discussion, you can email them to us. But again, just repeating the same questions and expecting a different answer probably isn't going to be fruitful and will only frustrate you. And we will stop answering the same questions over and over again because we have other things we have to do. Um, this, this is our second attempt to reach out to the community and give them a chance for their voice to be heard. Um, if you, you know, we'll be still more than happy to answer more new questions, but I think we pretty much covered it. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a good night. We're going to close down the sim for the night um, because everyone's pretty exhausted. <laughs> so, I wish you adieu.
Okay, I'll be up Thank you, everyone. I mean, Appreciate I'll be your, your civility. It was great. That was an awesome discussion. And I'm very proud of the way it went. Even if we don't agree. It's cool. Love your lovers. Love your friends.